All right, so uh, example video two for ellipses. Um, let's get right into it. So we're gonna um, rearrange here. So I'm gonna uh, put the x's together. So I have nine x squared plus 36x, and I'm gonna put the y's together. So plus 64y squared plus 384y, and then I'm gonna move my constant over to the other side, so minus 36. Now remember, in order to complete the square for the x's and for the y's, I'm going to have to uh, factor out the leading coefficient. So over here I have to factor out a 9 from the x squared term and the x term. So I have 9 times x squared plus 4x, the 36 divided by 9 becomes 4. And then I'm going to put in my placeholder here, take half of 4, so that's 2, and square it. So that's what I need to do to complete the square. And then over here I'm going to factor a 64 out of both y terms, so that's 64 times y squared plus 6y plus, I'm going to put my placeholder in there, half of 6 is 3, so that's 3 squared, and then equals, running out of room here, so equals negative 36, and then whatever I added on the left, I've got to add it also on the right. So over here I have 9 times 2 squared, so I have 9 times 2 squared, and over here I have 64 times 3 squared. So don't forget this number that you factored out, because really this is... 4 times 9, so I'm really adding 36 for the x's and 64 times 9 uh, for the y, so i got to put that over there. So let's go ahead and start simplifying. I have 9 times x plus 2 squared plus 64 times y plus 3 squared, and uh, add all this up, and you get 576. Now our um, standard form for an ellipse um, has to equal 1. So I'm going to divide everything by 576, and then I just make the right side 1. So I'm, if I divide that by 576, I have to divide these two by 576 as well. I'm going to simplify 9 over 576. However you want to reduce that is fine. Um, but 9 goes into 576 64 times, so this becomes x plus 2 squared over 64 plus, and then reduce these two, 64 goes into 576 nine times. So I have y plus three squared over nine, and then it is equal to one. So here's our standard form. And from that, we can find our center. So our center is gonna be negative two, negative three. I can find a, I know a is always the larger one, so this is gonna be my a squared. So if I take the square root of that, a is going to be uh, square root of 64, which is 8. And then B is going to be the square root of 9. So that's going to be 3. Um, and then we can find C, because C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared, so A squared minus B squared, so that's going to be 64 minus 9, which is 55. So C is the square root of 55, which is about 7.4. I'll just use this number to find some points on the graph. Okay, now that we have all this stuff, let's go ahead and start graphing everything, and we can find our uh, vertices and covertices and foci. So I know my center is at negative 2, negative 3. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So here's my center. And I know it's going to be horizontal because A is always larger. So A is going to be under the X's. So since X goes left and right, X axis goes left and right, I know my um, ellipse is going to go left and right. So now I'm going to go um, the distance of A to the left and to the right. So I'm going to go 8 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so that's one vertex. And I'm going to go 8 the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 the other way. So that's going to be my vertices. So I've got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 3, because I'm down 3. And the other one is going to be negative 10 is over there. Negative 10, negative 3. So there's my vertices. Now I'm going to use B, 3, and I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3. So my co-vertices 
then are going to be at negative 2, 0, and negative 2, and down negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. All right, and the last thing I need to find are my foci. So I'm going to use my distance of C. C, it's a square root of 55, so it's about 7.4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, point 4, somewhere in there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, point 4, somewhere in there also. I'm going to draw in my ellipse while we're here. So here's my ellipse. Uh, not too good, but that's okay. Um, so we need to locate the foci. So from my center, from negative 2, negative 3, I went to the left square root of 55, so that would be negative 2 plus negative 2 plus square root of 55, and then I went down negative 3, and I went negative 2 minus square root of 55. If you want to find this as a decimal, you can, um, <clears throat> or you can just write it like this, um, you know, because I, I figured out what this was as a decimal, but really the only reason I did that was um, so that I could kind of estimate where the foci were on the graph. All right, so that's it. Uh, write down any questions you have. You may want to watch this one more time, and uh, we'll see you in class.